Superac Mitsubishi. My name's Josh and today we're doing a walk around video of this 2017 Ford Ranger XLT. Starting off at the front, I'm going to walk you through the condition and some of the actual features. Now, as you can probably tell, I do look a little short next to the vehicle and I'm going to explain exactly why when we get through the suspension part of it. Starting off at the front, the vehicle does present in really good condition, especially for a vehicle that is this well set up. It does have very minimal stone chips along that front end. You've got that really nice chrome grille which does tie in quite nicely with the silver paintwork. Along the front down the bottom you have also got your color match parking sensors. Nice updated headlights in 2017 model with the projector beam. It does give you a very clear beam of light and down there you have also got the fog lights fitted. Along the side here you can see we have got the color matched wheel arch flares. Down the bottom we've got those Hustler wheels all the way around the vehicle with those monster mud terrain tires. So really well set up and those wheels are in good condition. Now behind the wheels you can probably see that really nice blue and yellow shock. Now that is your adjustable Bilstein lift kit. So uh, lift kit all the way around and it's good to know that it is adjustable as well. Chrome garnish on the side there. You've also got the chrome door handles and side mirrors and you have also got the indicator just built into that side mirror there. It does keep everything nice and clean. Now probably one of the best features is considering it does have a lift kit in it, you do get a side step to help you get in and out of the vehicle if you need the extra assistance. Now inside the car itself, the seat bolsters are all in really good condition considering the age and how difficult it is to get in and out of this vehicle. Um, and the door trims themselves, as you can see, where people get lazy and kick their doors open, very minimal wear there as well. Now, along this side of the vehicle, paintwork does present really well. That next wheel itself, once again, completely unmarked and still black, brand new tires all the way around. On the back, you can see you get those really clean tail lights on either side. You've also got the tow pack fitted and rear parking sensors on that bumper. You do get the wild track roller hard lid up the top and this tailgate when you open it up. Good to see that the tub is protected with that tub liner. You've also got your genuine rhino rack roof racks in the back there and your genuine carpet mats. Closing that back up, we'll keep making our way along this side of the vehicle now. Paintwork all along the tub does present really well. So very well looked after vehicle here all the way around. The wheels are all completely unmarked and fuel fill cap is on the passenger side so it is just pushed to open but when the vehicle is locked that will also lock. Keep making our way along, I'm not going to spend too long on the paintwork, I can't fault it even if I'm being picky. Uh, there are maybe, a oh, bit of dirt, can't fault the vehicle at all. That next wheel once again completely unmarked so what we're going to do now is pop the bonnet and have a look at the engine. Taking a look under the bonnet what we have is that iconic five cylinder Duratorque motor. It is a 3.2 litre turbo diesel engine, it does have a six speed automatic gearbox. ANCAP safety rating is five stars. Power output from the engine is 147 kilowatts with a torque rating of 417 newton meters. The diesel fuel tank holds 80 litres giving you a combined fuel consumption of about 8.7 litres per 100 and an average fuel distance depending on your driving style of about 920 kilometres from a full tank. Taking a look inside the Ford Ranger now, on the driver's side door you do get all your power window controls. Front driver's side is automatic up and down. You've also got a uh, window lock button there as well. On the door itself, you've got your central locking buttons next to the door handle. And on the right hand side here, you've got the illumination controls for your, for your cluster, sorry, your fog light controls and headlight controls as well. On the right hand stalk here, we've got our indicators and lane departure warning. And on the left hand stalk, all your washer and wiper controls. Now the wipers are auto, so leave them in auto and the car will decide when it needs to use them. On the steering wheel itself, you've got two sets of menu buttons on either side where your thumbs are. That controls to the two digital displays in front of you. On the right hand side here, you've got your cruise control with your distance control for the adaptive cruise control and all your media controls on the uh, left hand side here. If we have a look in the center display, the Ford Sync 3 system is probably one of the best systems on the market and I will show you um, exactly why. So you can switch pretty easily between uh, all your media modes, so your audio, your climate, your phone, your navigation, everything is just down there in that nice little bar in the bottom and you can actually connect your phone via Bluetooth and bring up some, uh, bring up some various apps as well. In terms of your uh, hard buttons, you've got a couple down here for the radio, you've also got the dual zone climate control, so 
passenger can have a separate temperature to the driver below here two 12 volt sockets two usb ports and the parking sensors traction control rear diff lock and downhill descent controls are just up here you've also got your forward drive selected next to the shifter and the shifter itself if you bring it down into drive and bump it to the right you can switch through the gears manually got two nicely sized cup holders a hard handbrake and that center console there when you open it up uh, you've got some little storage here for the coins if you want and it is ventilated so you can keep any drinks and stuff in there uh, nice and cool if we quickly pan around the interior you will notice it is actually in pretty good condition for its age and uh, for what it's set up for so fairly well looked after and if we have a look at the roof lining as well uh, minimal marks along the roof lining Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch the walk around video on this beautiful Ford Ranger. Probably look a little bit shorter from these angles, but uh, just shows how well this vehicle is set up. It is incredible and guys, in this kind of condition, it's something you're going to want to protect. So ask us about the glass coat because that's going to give you a lifetime warranty on your paintwork and considering the condition of this paintwork, you're going to want to get that sealer on it. It will, it will protect it against many of Australia's harsh weather climates. It will protect it from UV damage, bird damage, uh, bat damage, fading, oxidization, and much more. The other thing I would recommend is the premium mechanical protection plan. It's gonna give you another five years, up to 200,000 kilometers on the clock of cover on 181 electrical and mechanical components of the vehicle. It is awesome value, and if you are using our in-house finance, Julie or Mario, our business managers, would love to talk to you about our finance packages and show you how minimal the changes would be with all of that included as well. Now, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. And just before I go, you need to read our Google reviews. So we are sitting on 4.8 stars on Google with over 8,000 reviews. So that's from customers Australia wide. It just shows that you are dealing with a good dealership. You are buying a good quality vehicle and we like to make the process nice and easy for you. So if you have any questions at all, the number is 9907055. My name is Josh and thank you so much for watching.